Greetings everyone, welcome back to Genshin Impact, and, um, so, uh, so I completely got this by mistake, um, so if I come over here to my weapons, click it, I got Engulfing Lightning, completely by mistake, so Genshin Impact gave some, um, free Primal Gems, I'm, I spent on a single pool, a single wish pool, and then somehow just for that single wish pool, I got Engulfing Lightning, um, yeah, the only the only wish I've done on Raiden's banner was just the engulfing lightning. Which um ends in five days. And a new character comes out it after those five days. Cloud Retainer, which I'm extremely hyped for. I really want Cloud Retainer. So either way, that's not also I completed the quest that I needed to get this. Or not that one. Get this one, the interlude chapter. I can I needed to complete another quest to unlock it, and I did now. But either way, let's just continue the story. And we gotta go over there. Is there a teleport down there? Mm, right here. Okay. I don't really... Oh, we're down here. Goddamn. Um, <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we're going over there to talk to... It's Navia, right? Because this is where Navia is chillax yes, is at. Yes, it's real, and it's empty and waiting for us, as promised. Yeah, Navia. Navia Hmm. Now that the serial disappearances case has been solved, no one's going to come after us for anything. Even without Silver standing guard, we can just completely relax. Uh, yeah. Probably. Why don't we stay and rest <laughs> up here for a while? Even machines in Fontaine need to stop and recharge now and then. If we wanted to rest, couldn't we pick somewhere with a decent view? It's pretty bad. How often do we get to stay in an actual base? The truth, Paimon. Oh, remember that detective story Paimon read before? Well, the author is about to release a new book, so Paimon wanted to buy it as soon as it came out and have a quiet place to read it. Oh, what? Fair enough. <laughs> Just don't spoil the ending for me this time. Yeah, but it's agreed. Come on, let's get some sleep. We'll need to be up first thing in the morning to get in line and buy a copy. Sure, ma'am. Also, speaking of books, I'm starting to read Mashoku Tensei, the Mashoku Tensei novels. Um, yeah, I'm s still on the first novel, but I'm, um, what? That, that through it. Through it. Someone Even through it. It's, it's also like a social documentary. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Oh, you just finished it? You're a pretty slow reader, Paimon. No! Paimon just spends a bit more time sleeping than you, that's all. Uh-huh. Excuse me. But do you know if the Traveler and Paimon are lodging here? I don't know if you noticed, but Paimon's been screaming her name over the, like, like, for the past, like, I don't know, it's like, like, ten hours at the top of her lungs. She's been sit screaming her name. And then you, you over here asking us if we knew who Paimon was. Like, what? Huh? Who are you? Paimon doesn't recall seeing you before. Wait. You're not here to give us trouble, are you? A blonde traveler and a chatty little fairy. Whew, looks like I found the place. Okay. Good yeah, thing she, I asked the Spina di Rosula. She, she also just said right her name. She, she said her name right there. Oh, whatever. Hey, what do you mean by chatty? I'm always careful not to talk too much. You're talking it's a lot right now, Paimon. It's both. I was sent from the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nourilette wishes to see you. It seems Nouvellet. Ah oh, shit. He wants to see us again already. Oh Nouvellet. Huh. We talked so much the last time we met. Has something happened since then? Probably I'm happened. I'm not privy to the details. It would be best if you came to the Palais Marmonia and asked Monsieur Nouvellet in person. Sure. Come on, where is my mouse? Where's the mouse? There it is. If you say so, but Hyman has a bad feeling about this. <sighs> now that I've delivered the message, I'll take my leave. Okay. Peace. Thanks. We haven't left the room for a few days, so we'll head over once we've freshened up a bit. Okay. Now we're trap starting Act 3 for Chapter 4. We talk to Nivellet. It's up there. Damn, Nivellet. Why do you have to be up there? Why are you up there, Nivellet? <laughs> we're heading over to um, this big place right here. Uh, this is Nivellet's home. This is where Nivellet lives. This is where he chills his axes. Yo, Nivellet! Nivellet! Um, we're here! Did you want to see us about something? Why were you just standing there? You daydreaming or thinking something over? Yes, I did send someone to fetch you. 
But as for what I'd like to discuss next, well, I still have some reservations. Given that we've already made the trip here, you should just tell us that you need us to help you with something, right? I do indeed have something I'd like to ask you to do. However, you should wait until after I tell you the details, then decide for yourselves whether you'd like to help or not. Sure. The situation is this. A while earlier If at I'm the understanding you correctly, the Snezhnayan harbinger known as the Knave has essentially requested a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? <laughs> I heard that she was originally from Fontaine, but for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this, I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. Mm. Damn. Clear head. I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predicament. <laughs> we convicted one of the Snezhnayan harbingers in a court of law, but we have yet to provide any form of detailed report on the matter. This does indeed provide an opportunity for Snezhnaya to put pressure on us. Yeah. I believe we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a prison. proper explanation. <laughs> and have a preliminary plan on how to deal with the matter. He gets what he deserves. No, we shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. Oh. I see. Well, uh, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. If we keep putting off the meeting, it could easily result in the problem escalating, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, like a fight between two friends. If they don't agree to see each other and talk in person, isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely? <laughs> Though diplomatic relations between Fontaine and Snezhnaya could be considered as friendly, it is only superficially so. You wouldn't go so far as to say that our nations are friends, as you did in your example. Uh-huh. Uh, no, I, I did that. It was just an analogy. An analogy, okay? Moreover, Damn, even if we were to talk in person, if we don't have sufficient information prepared, it is quite possible the result wouldn't be restored relations, but a complete falling out. Hmm. I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. Even if the logic of the divine is not immediately apparent, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Aha. Uh -huh. Besides, you'll be at the meeting. If any problems do pop up, you'll have no problem navigating them. I must clarify that interacting and communicating with people outside of court is not my cup of tea. It seems you think too much of me. But more importantly, says, when no, did I tea. agree to join the meeting with you? You mean you won't come? No, 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 that, that won't do. I can't go to the meeting alone. You have to accompany me. I must take you with me. Lady Farina, could there be something <laughs> else regarding this matter that is being kept from me? No, not at all. Look, <laughs> I am the Hydro Archon of Fontaine, Fosalor. The god of justice who is loved and adored by many. So I only hope that justice will be served in this matter. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. <laughs> Damn. At the time of the meeting, the days of Lavrina sits upon our arrival. Though it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference, I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. It's you! Fucking forgot your name. Shit. <laughs> what was your name again? I don't remember. I assume you see it the same way, Miss Farina. Oh, uh, there. Ar Arlequina. The knave, the fourth of the eleven Fatui Harbingers. Lady Farina. Oh! <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> I should thank you for providing the pastries. They look delectable. To make this no tea way. party even more lively, <laughs> I've invited someone else to join us today. It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nuvillette. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally, there's no need to introduce the nation's revered Eudex to me. Bro was born in Fontaine? Well, get out the water. <laughs> Hello. The pleasure is also mine. First, I would like to thank the two of you. I'm often away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the House of the Hearth have been well taken care of by you. Isn't this the girl that, like, you know, she she rescued Linny and Lynette as it? You know? Uh, or she, she rescued uh, Lin, uh, Lynette. 
Like, yeah, that, that whole, like, backstory bullshit that was going on with Linny and Lynette. That, oh, uh, I'm really, not referring uh, to when my children, like, Linny and yeah, Lynette, yeah. were falsely <laughs> accused by you. Bro. Please don't misunderstand. <laughs> just fucking, okay. The <laughs> children of the House of the Hearth are often misunderstood. Perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. There's no getting around that. Your reputation is terrible. I hate the Fatui. Like they're like the worst enemies to fight in this game, especially All the I ice guy. Say is that Fontaine fucking ice guy that just spams that goddamn years. freaking. The people are well like, off and ice, the children lead the happy, gun fulfilled and shit. lives. And he just like just never stops. He that does it for like a full like ten minutes. Worth cherishing, and no one wishes to disrupt such peace. Now then, you have come regarding the matter of child, correct? Well, yes. It appears the ever-busy Udex Nouvellet doesn't wish to waste time with diplomatic pleasantries and hopes that we can get straight to the point of our talk. Yes, as you surmised, understanding child's situation is indeed one of the goals of this trip. As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya as well as Fatui Harbingers, Child and I have always been colleagues. Were anything to happen in Fontaine, each of us would serve as the other's attorney to resolve the issue. So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that child be turned over to Snezhnaya. We have a responsibility to cooperate with Fontaine and resolve what has happened to him together. The rules governing attorneys only apply before a trial has concluded. Since a verdict has already been rendered, we see the case as settled. I apologize for being unable to grant your request. An outright refusal. Very well. <laughs> I respect all the rules of Fontaine's courts, just as I respect you as Chief Justice. Why don't we back I up? Cannot. You don't need to transfer Child to us. I only request to enter the fortress of Meripede to see Child and confirm his conditions. Not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a How'd you get right there? request like that. Right, Miss Farina. I don't trust you, Arlequino. Ar 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 uh, um, about that. The fortress of Meropede has always been completely autonomous. Even we have no authority to interfere there, and diplomatic issues do not suffice as an excuse. However, if you absolutely must confirm the situation of the Harbinger, I have a proposal. <laughs> the knave showed up already? Well, Linny did say that Father will be returning soon. We didn't even know that Linny was from the House of the Hearth at the time. So we kind of overlooked that information. <laughs> okay, please be careful, Nivellette. The knave won't be easy to deal with. Yes, thank you for your kind advice. I'm well aware of the situation. I also notice that Lady Farina acts a little odd and unnatural whenever I bring up matters related to the knave. Could the knave be threatening Lady Farina or something? If that were the case, then why wouldn't Lady Farina inform me? And what means could the knave possibly have to twist the arm of an archon? Hmm. So maybe that's oh, not no. very likely. <laughs> Even though Farina can act a little weird at times, she's <laughs> a still little in weird. <laughs> in reality, this problem is even more thorny than it appears. According to reports from the fortress of Meripede, Child recently disappeared under mysterious circumstances. The details are still unclear. We cannot rule out an escape, but there have also been no reports of him outside of the fortress of Meripede. Special guards oversee huh. the fortress, and its internal systems are extensive. Combined with the special characteristics of the surrounding terrain, an escape should not be possible. I suspect that there's something else behind Child's disappearance. I was only willing to share this information with you because you are friends of Child, and it is my duty to see justice done. Whoever said I was friends with that lunatic? So this like is what you wanted to see us I about child. before. A burning passion. Yes. I would like you to go to the Fortress of Meropede and investigate Child's disappearance. This was my proposal during our meeting with the Knave. Rather than allowing her to intervene, I offered to send someone to find out about Child's situation and report back to her in detail. The Knave did not seem satisfied by my proposal, <laughs> but she still agreed to go along with it for the time being. Her words were, We will talk more once we have that report. We will talk more. So that means we bought ourselves some time! Yeah, okay. God damn it. But why do you want us to go? Wouldn't it be more convenient to have an official from Fontaine do this? 
Firstly, you're already acquainted with child. Your eyes may discern relevant details yep. there that others We're just acquainted. Miss. We're not friends, okay? I hate child with uh, and secondly, every fiber of my being. consideration of the unique nature of the Fortress of Meripede. Isn't it just Fontaine's prison? I would not define it so crudely. The Fortress of Meripede is not affiliated with the court system of Fontaine on paper. It has always existed as an autonomous entity. Huh. Early in Fontaine's history, criminals were punished with exile, not imprisonment. Even today, sentences against convicted criminals still include exile, just as before. The Fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. All we do is dispatch guards to keep watch and help maintain security, but we have no right to get involved with any other matters. I wonder what the prison system is like in the other regions. What if someone commits a crime in that region? I, I kind of like Inazuma is kind of like they have dungeons and shit, right? Or just like fucking right and just like I'm gonna execute you because you fucking you said my shoes weren't poggers or something like that. <laughs> That's probably what happens in, in freaking Inazuma. <laughs> Though I do have a personal relationship with the administrator there. Neither myself nor the courts have the right to be directly involved with the investigation, no matter how serious the grounds. Okay. Oh, Paima gets it now. That's why you need us to conduct our own investigation as a third party, right? Uh, Paimon? Were you even listening? Correct. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress during your detention. This yeah. will save us a lot of unnecessary trouble. We're gonna get arrested. <laughs> Are you too willing to accept my proposal? Since you're in such a tough spot. Well, child is our- No, he's not our friend. Yeah, no matter how you look at it, it seems we're the best choice. Yeah. Alright, we hereby accept this difficult task. Uh, reluctantly. What false charge were- Uh, just charge us for the floating object one, you know? You two have my sincere thanks. <laughs> the floating this object crime. This matter is of critical importance to Fontaine's current situation. So. Why is I hope that, that both of you can keep this operation a secret. Oh, what the heck? Who oh, spoon? We will rendezvous at the Fortress of Meripede's entrance on Erinaeus once you've prepared yourselves. I will arrange for someone to take you inside. Okay. Prepared ourselves? Uh, is there something we need to prepare? Perhaps you could enjoy a good meal and have a nice bath. I'm afraid that living conditions inside the fortress are nothing like those on the outside world. Man, we'll be there on we have a teapot. Let's just go in we'll there. Be no? in prison for real. You have a teapot. Just go inside the teapot, you know? <laughs> Paul's a child. You didn't even consider the fact that we'd be prisoners? We've already agreed, pa Paimon. Just accept it. Please do not worry. Since you are sacrificing both your time and quality of life for the sake of delivering this report, you will be compensated according to the highest standards permitted to legal staff. Regardless of the outcome. Okay. Now that's more like it. Come on, traveler, let's go eat the best meal we can find. We'll eat so much that we won't need to eat another meal for a whole month. Your treat. Are you leaving now? In that case, please take this cake as a token. Of my Dude, you had a gratitude. random cake there. Where'd you get the cake from? Okay. Um, that was pretty weird. That was pretty weird. Um. Okay. Now we gotta go to Cafe <laughs> Lutes. Uh, Lutes or something. I don't know what the fuck that name is. Okay, let's head over to the cafe. Hi, Mom, I'll have that, that. Oh, and one of those too? A no fonte, thank you. <laughs> what? You sure ordered a lot. Didn't you just finish eating the cake that Nugget gave us? That cake was pretty good. But as soon as Paimon remembered that we're about to go to prison, Paimon's stomach suddenly became completely. Now that Paimon thinks about it, <laughs> We've always been super careful ever since we arrived in Fontaine. Just to avoid... Oh, no. Here we are, about to willingly send ourselves off to the Fortress of Meripede. Maybe this is what they call fate. <sighs> yeah. Let's just try our best to investigate everything quickly once we get there. Hi, Mondozi! Why are you taking pictures oh, of me? what is that I hear? Is it the taste of a breaking story? No, Charlotte, piss off. Hey! Go suck some other guy's dick. Remind me, I invited an eyewitness to a case to eat here, and I was planning to get some great material out of him, but he didn't even show up. Calm down. 
This is nothing new. As a journalist, you should be used to this by now. And as long as you can score some juicy tidbits from the Traveler, you might still be able to recover the cost of the meal. We can still hear you, Charlotte. Never mind, it's nothing. I just heard you mention the Fortress of Meripede. You didn't commit a crime, did you? Please tell me all about it. Uh, yeah, we committed a crime. The moment we came here. No, Paimon's a floating object. Apparently, that's illegal here. No way! We would never! We're just going there to... Uh... Um... To... Oh no, Paimon almost forgot that Nervalette told us to keep it a secret! We're going to serve our sentences and redeem ourselves for spoiling the ending of a detective novel in public. <laughs> You're being arrested for that? <laughs> oh... But now that I think about it, I suppose that's not completely unreasonable. <laughs> that's pretty despicable. Almost as offensive as committing theft. What the fuck is going on? You mean Paimon really did something that serious? See, I told you, Paimon. You didn't even think any <laughs> anything of it. <laughs> Sorry, Paimon really messed up. <laughs> uh, well, in that case, it's nothing particularly newsworthy after all. So How disappointing. Right, there's still a chance. Uh, since you're going to be at the Fortress of Meripede, would you be willing to help me gather some material for a story? Nope. Zero percent. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have any time. Oh, it's nothing difficult. All you have to do is think of a way to get some time face to face with the Warden of the Fortress. No. He was awarded the honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Sounds really cool. Duke Only nuts. those who have made significant enough. contributions to the nation have been conferred this title. It's incredibly rare. Charlotte, no. On top of that, the Fortress of Meripede has never been under the jurisdiction of the courts. Practically nobody, including journalists like me, knows anything about the person in charge there. If I could write an exclusive article about him, I bet it would sell a boatload of papers. Is it War Wolf? Well, the, the fucking Wolf guy. I fucking know his name. Is it that guy? I don't know. You make it sound easy, but it really depends. Of course. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. So this meal is on me. All right, you got a deal. We'll do anything <laughs> you want. Then it's settled. The food should be here any second, right? Wait, just how much did you order? The whole menu. After completely s stuffing yourself in your pro game, whatever. Uh, oh, we're going to prison now. Find you've let at the entrance well, to the fortress of the narrow pool. Um. Where's the fortress of Meripede? Over there? How's the fortress of Meripede? What? Water? Is this it? Okay, okay. Um, I guess that's the fortress of Meripede. But, we'll go to the fortress of Meripede next time. Um, I don't really want this city to be too long. So I'm ending it here. Hope you enjoyed it. It's Genshin Impact. Yeah, like how, how other Genshin Impact stuff goes. We're going to the Fortress of Meripede. I think there's only one more chapter after this one, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, or one more act, not chapter. One more act after this one, I think. But either way, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Um, peace out and bye-bye. Uh,